Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Hey everybody, today we got some news from the GM camp today. The it seems the 2021 Chevrolet Silverado, I think it's a 5500. Oh shoot, let's take a look at this thing here. Yeah, the medium duty range is going to start offering a new transmission uh, calibration from Allison Transmissions. They call it the Fuel Sense 2.0 and it has got a whole host of stuff that they say is supposed to uh, get up to a 6% increase in fuel economy. Now we'll get that all to those in just one hot second. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop-Up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab short bed. So, protect that window. I gotta tell you, from personal first-hand experience in driving a truck with these uh, technologies that are supposed to increase fuel economy, I gotta say, it can take a really good performing truck and just make it seem like it can't do a thing. I've had the chance in the, say, the past month or so to get behind the wheel of a, of a Freightliner that had a DT12 which is a automated manual uh, transmission and uh, well as it turns out you get in that truck and you go to another one manual and that thing just it just wouldn't go you put your foot all the way to the floor the computer looks at it and go are you sure you want this much and I go yeah I want the full thing well then it looks back and go, well, I can't do that. The best I can do is 75%, and I'll get to it in just about a minute. So I imagine that's roughly what's going to happen with, uh, with this new Fuel Sense 2.0. And I imagine there's some level of uh, trying to save fuel, and I really do get that fuel is one of the most, uh, is one of the highest costs you can have in a business. So trying to save here and there can be very, very important. But from what I can tell in this fuel sense, the setup there, you can actually set it up for economy and you can set it up for power. So I imagine there's a button you can hit that lets you uh, go into more of a performance mode if you need the power to get things done. So in just a minute here, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what fuel sense 2.0 really is and what that might mean for the Chevrolet medium duty lineup. Now, Hopping on the Allison Transmission website here, I start looking up the fuel sense 2.0, and it says uh, there's a Dynactive shifted, what and it says com it's a uh, continuously variable method of shift scheduling. So basically, what that means is back in the old days, you used to have okay, your program shift points based on hydraulic uh, fluid no, pressure. And the more pressure you had, the earlier the shift would come because you need to get going. I mean, the harder the, the higher the pressure, the harder the shift, the more firm. But now, it's going to be a whole lot more like what a pickup truck is. Uh, like, uh, like in my Ranger out there, like Ford's had for, for a while now. You go and you drive that sucker, and within, oh, say, you know, about a month or so, that thing will adapt to how you drive. Are you... Easing, easing in all the throttles, trying to get that good fuel mileage, well, it'll adapt to you. If you get in and say, all right, let's get it up, go, and you mash that sack sucker down to the floor, well, it's going to learn that too. It's going to learn how each individual driver is. So let's say you have a slip seat operation. It might have a time or two trying to figure out what's going on with the driver there, but I imagine that if you have someone that's in the truck, you know, for, let's say, a month or so, that they should be able to learn how that truck is supposed to go uh, from the transmission there and be able to get the most amount of fuel economy possible. Let's see. What else they got? Uh, 
let's see, a neutral at stop. Now apparently there's a couple different versions of this. There's standard and premium. And now in the standard, it has a partial neutral. Now I don't know exactly what that means, but I imagine it's kind of like being half in, half out on the clutch. But this is a full automatic, so I imagine it's a torque, torque converter is ready to rock and roll, but it ain't creeping the vehicle forward on you. So I imagine that's kind of what's going on there. And then the premium, it's they got a coast mode. Basically, what I think that means is, is that sucker, when you start going down a hill, it'll just drop itself out to neutral, which, if you don't know what's coming, can freak you out. But if you know it's there, if you're educated on the truck that you're driving, you know it's there. It should help save you some fuel, but at the same time, I'm always wondering if the torque converter is locked and it's keeping the engine running. I almost wonder if that might be better because it's keeping the engine moving and you don't actually have to fire off fuel into the cylinder to keep it going. So, I'm sure it does something. I, I'm sure there are engineers a whole heap lot smarter than I am. But uh, we'll have to see how that one works out. And then in the premium, uh, we talked about the for the partial uh, uh, neutral. Well, the premium's got a full neutral when that thing comes to a stop. So I imagine it's uh, like that start stop type deal where it'll set you off a neutral, crank it up, and put it in gear and go before you even know it. Well, it looks like acceleration rate management, which is a fancy ass way of saying, oh! You want full throttle? Nah. Boss man says we gonna save some go-go juice. Three quarters all we can get you. That might cause some issues with some drivers. Don't know? Nah. Is what it is. What else? Oh, now apparently this fuel sense comes in a couple different packages. There's 2.0, there's 2.0 plus, and 2.0 max. So what's the difference here? Do, do, do. So the standard gives you the variable shift. The plus is that gives you the neutral at the stop here, and the max is neutral at stop and the acceleration rate management. Yeah. So I imagine up to so the up to six percent. I imagine that's on the 2.0 max. Now, trying to save fuel. With that Allison automatic, I mean, those are some pretty good, pretty strong, long-lasting transmissions. And uh, hopefully here soon enough, we'll be uh, having a conversation with between myself and Mr. Truck. And uh, we're going to be talking all about all sorts of transmissions, including some new ones coming up from Allison in the uh, heavy-duty truck market. But uh, I reckon that's going to about do it from now. So y'all have yourselves a great day. Be safe. And we'll catch you on flip. Bye-bye.